Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today I decided to draw you a set of books with a coffee mug or a tea mug. So let's get started and I can't wait to share this with you. It's going to be very very easy and I hope you draw it with me and send me your drawing to my Facebook or my Instagram account. So just connect with me there and tell me what you would like to see next. And you can also comment below and let me know as well. All the information is in the description box below for you for my Instagram and Facebook account information if you want to connect with me there as well. And if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. And I hope you leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see next as well or any other comments about books and books that you love um, and any good books that I should read. Um, so if you're a book lover, let me know the books that you like uh, and uh, read so far and what's your favorite book. Along the way while we draw I will share some fun facts about books and reading in general and I hope you enjoy that as well. So we are going to draw several books here so I decided to draw some hardcover books so that I can like add color and make it look nice and this is kind of like an illustration looking drawing uh, like a cartoon kind of thing that's what I was going for. So I hope you like it and I'm going to use so many colors to draw this because I wanted it to look colorful and uh, put some products out on my Redbubble shop as well. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description box below. And I will also show you some uh, products that with this print on uh, at the end of the video along with the full color drawing as well so you can if you want to draw books I'm going to draw several of them different shapes and sizes different hard covers and I'm not going to make it look straight or anything because it's like a sticker or like a cartoon uh, illustration so I hope you enjoy it and uh, I will share some fun facts like I said about uh, books in general and about reading as well So when it comes to books, there are over 129 million books in existence. So today I'm just reading facts in Yahoo News uh, about books. It has 11 random facts uh, about books. So according to Google, 129 million books had been published as of 2010. So this is, I guess, an uh, old post so um, in 2010 so it's been 11 years or almost since then so um, I wonder how many there are right now um, and so when you say out loud uh, can't find a good book to read know that you have a lot to choose from that's directly out of this news article and there are a lot where that came from so the most expensive book ever purchased was sold for 30.8 million dollars well I will elaborate on that one it was Codex Leicester by Leonardo da Vinci and it was purchased by Bill Gates according to Business Insider And there's a word for loving the smell of old books. Well, actually, I love it too. 
because it has that really nostalgic, really nice uh, smell to it. I love the old book smell. Um, if you do as well, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. I would love to uh, know what you think about that. And um, it's like a aroma of dust and a whole lot of history. It says right on the website as well, which I agree. And if you agree, let me know in the comments below. Um, and the longest sentence ever printed is 823 words crazy long it must be really hard to read that anyways so going back to the drawing um, to add a little fun layer to it I also added a mug on top of the book as well so if you're a book lover you know what I'm talking about uh, on a like a cold day if you have a good cup of tea or a coffee whichever you would like to drink and a book you can uh, read that and relax and that will be a great lazy day so um, let me know if you like this one I really enjoyed drawing this one because especially I had like freedom to draw whatever I wanted and it looks cartoony and fun and colorful so I loved it so let's get to coloring and I'm going to share uh, how I colored it as well and all the fun colors so today I used Faber-Castell color pencils uh, the new one and uh, I love them so if you want these, check out the description box below for um, the link to get these as well. And here's a really interesting fact because not a lot of people can read a book in a day. So President Theodore Roosevelt uh, read one book per day. It's, um, it's great, but I don't know how, like maybe it only had a couple of pages. I don't know, but that's a big dedication right there. And authors' names didn't used to be printed on the covers of the books. The covers of the first printed books were considered artworks. They were covered in drawings, uh, leather, and even gold. So there wasn't a place for the author's name. Interesting. The first book ever written using a typewriter was The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain must have had a lot of ink and a lot of patience, it says right on the website. It has some fun facts. I really like this one. Um, uh, it gives like really uh, the elaboration on each fact is fun and fun to read. Um, the three most read books in the world are obviously the Holy Bible and quotations from Chairman Mao tongue I hope I said that right and Harry Potter and Icelandic people read more than anyone perhaps it has to do with the weather but maybe they're just taught to really love books either way Iceland for the win of course um, I love books so of course they win for sure if they read the most so now that we are almost done and you can draw the cup and color it whichever you like I'm going to show you the full color drawing so you can see how colorful it is and if you like this one don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me and I will show you some products that I have for sale with this drawing on this is a laptop bag and I have books as well and I have a lot more products including t-shirts which I'm going to show you right now and this is just one type of t-shirt that I have and I have many many more 
So check those out and the link is in the description box below for the Redbubble shop and this is a phone cover. So I hope you love these products and would like to look how my drawings look on products. So check it out and these are some of the next videos that you can check out and draw with me and I hope you do that and send me your drawings as well and if you have any requests don't forget to let me know by commenting below and hit that subscribe button as well. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.